Well, let's start our section, our subject of fractions. Now, let me say something. A lot of this stuff you, I shouldn't say learn, you should have learned way back in third, fourth, fifth grade. That's okay. For some of y'all, it's been a long time since third, fourth, and fifth grade. So we need to have some review. So if you're a math whiz and you, you know, taking calculus number six or something, you're way ahead of everybody else, that's fine. Just yawn, roll your eyes, go, boy, this is easy. But some of y'all need the experience of doing the review. So that's where we're starting. As rinky dink as this may look to some people, we gotta start here. Okay, let's just talk about what fractions are. A fraction is, well, let's look at this. Now, I could make this a um, pecan pie. I could make this a pizza. I've not had my dinner yet, so let's make this a pizza, okay? What I did was I cut my pizza into two equally sized pieces. And I'm gonna get the one that's kind of shaded in here. I get one of those two pieces. Let's kind of go backwards, okay? So we have a fraction that's two parts, a top and a bottom. Well, the bottom number is how many we cut the thing into. I cut the pizza into two equally sized pieces. Now, if they're not equally sized, it doesn't work out, but cut them in equally sized pieces, two of them. But I'm gonna get how many of those two pieces? Well, I'm gonna get one piece. I get one half. So that's one half that's shaded in. I get one of those two pieces. Now for the terminology. Look, as a nurse, these words don't matter, but for in here, just to kind of keep us on track, we gotta have some common terminology. The top number is called the numerator. The bottom is the denominator. Now let's face some facts here. The word numerator, that's four syllables. The word denominator, that's five syllables. And that takes a lot of time and wasted breath and wasted time to say numerator and denominator. So I'm gonna sometimes say top and bottom, okay? I'm a, con I'm a you know, conservationist and I like to conserve, in this case, syllables. I'm saving syllables. Why waste useless syllables? Okay, so the bottom number is a number of things you cut this into. The top is a number of those that you've got. What about this pizza? Well, I cut my pizza into one, two, three, into four pieces. There we go. But I get how many of them? One, two, three. I get three of those four pieces. I get three fourths of a pizza. Oh, look at this pizza. Yeah, I'm good at cutting pizzas. I cut this pizza into, into 16 pieces. And I get, I mean, kind of one, two, three, four, I, I get 12 of them. I get 12 sixteenths of a pizza. That's all a fraction is. You tell how many you get out of how many total equally sized pieces that you've got right there. But what about if I have something like this? I have um, five halves of a pizza. Oh, whoa, okay. Now, terminology. Okay, it doesn't matter for the nursing world, but for in here, let's use some common terms. These are called proper fractions. A proper fraction means the top number is not as big as the bottom. Maybe getting close, but it's not as big. But this is called an improper fraction. Now, what, if the top and bottom are the same, or the top number is bigger than the bottom, that's an improper fraction. Well, let's see what that means. That means I get five halves, sounds kind of dumb, five halves of a pizza. Still means what I just said. The bottom number is how many pieces I cut my pizza into. Well, I cut it into two pieces. Well, I got a pizza right here. I cut this pizza into two pieces, two equally sized pieces. But I need five of those pieces. Well, I get this piece. That's one piece. I get this piece. That's two. Well, I need five pieces. That's only two. I get another, another pizza. I get a second pizza. And I cut it in half. I cut it in two pieces. I get a third piece. I get a fourth piece. Oh, I got four. I, got many. I need five of them, though. I'm hungry. Well, let's get another pizza. Let's cut this into two equally sized pieces, okay. And I get another one of those. Pen's getting a little dry there. So now I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five pieces of pizza 
and each one's cut into two equally sized pieces. I have five halves of the pizza. Now what's that called? Again, that's an improper fraction. But wait, sounds like some infomercial, but wait, if you order now, okay, there's a better way to write this. I have one, I have two whole pizzas, two pizzas, and one half of this other one. I have two and a half pizzas. That's a better way to write this than this is. That's the same thing. I can say five halves, or I can say two and a half. That's the same thing. Now we're going to learn something. There will be, especially in this chapter and in further chapters, some always you better do this every single time. Well, here's one always you better do this every single time. If your answer to some math problem ends up being an improper fraction, you need to convert that into a mixed number. Now, we'll discuss in a later video how to do that. You must know how to convert this into this, this and this are the same thing, but just think of the real world. You're a nurse, you're working for doctor or whoever, and some patient, Ms. McGillicuddy, comes in, you give her a sample of medicine to give her little kid, Johnny. And you say, well, now, you should give Johnny twice a day, you should give him five halves of a teaspoon. Does that sound stupid? It does to me. Five halves of it. You go, what? Oh, no, no. I mean, give him two and a half. Doesn't that sound better? Two and a half teaspoons sounds a whole lot better than five halves of a teaspoon. She's going, what about? <laughs> okay, so you should know how, what these terms are. These are called what? Proper fractions. This is an improper fraction. If the top and bottom are the same or the top is bigger, that's improper. But this is a mixed number or a mixed fraction. That means you're mixing a whole number with a fraction. And that's a better way to write fractions. So those are the basic terminology. And we'll shut it down here. We'll temporarily put it on hold. And you'll go to the next video, which will explain more details about this really fun stuff.